Okay then, I've had a breather from the end of last episode because I was absolutely raging but I've calmed down now and I'm prepared to tackle this box puzzle. No doubt this is going to be absolutely infuriating as well so come on let's have a look. What have we got? Alright, should be easy enough. <laughs> should it? Oh my god I don't even know. Where do I even start? Can I put that princess thing down? Gold lady yeah. seems locked up in her castle. Gold lady's there. But wait there, I only missed one. Two. I missed the bear and whatever the eye was. I've only missed two collectibles, that's pretty good. Unless, oh no, three. I think one probably went with them sticks, so I've missed three collectibles. Why don't we solve this one first? Well... I'm trying, but... The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. Oh, look. I'll wait there. Why don't we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? I'm so done with her riddles. Me, I know it is. I think I am. I, I, I'm with Tyler here. I'm so done with the riddles. Mom's a fucking dickhead. What does this even mean? I've never seen these symbols in my life. Oh wait there. We solved three puzzles didn't we? Have a look. Star. So Marianne's mom forced her Star. to do all this? Is a star a thing? If a star's a thing, and the gold star? lady is watching her so closely. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young. Gotta be written on here. Some. Right, wait. Let's see if there's a star first to see if my theory is right. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. I don't think so because they're all letters, aren't they? What the fuck? I'm already angry. I'm already raging. Can you just give us some help? Alison? I haven't. I can't even see them symbols anywhere. Hey. I want to take a crack at this one before we try to figure out any others. So, you're going to give us a hint on where it might be? Oh, wait there. Well, I mean, get out the way. Ah, wait there. I'm just not seeing any of these symbols the anywhere. Crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. I'm gonna smash it open with the crowbar. I'm fucking sick of this game already. Honestly, it's just a. F oh my god! It's on the back of the fucking doors. Jesus Christ! Look, zero red ribbon. E zero ribbon. Oh no! It's in. It's in colours, isn't it? No. Yeah, it is. Look, red ribbon. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. I figured it out, mate. Red ribbon. Orange E. Yellow O. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. Orange E. Yellow O. Yes. Did it just get darker in here? Is that a black light? I just wanted to say one thing, right? So this is why everything's so meticulously crafted, because she worked for a watchmaker. That's why everything runs like clockwork in here. But I highly doubt that woman would have built that. Imagine all the time it would have taken to craft all of this and put it together. The kids weren't even that old. Or did she make it before the children became? I, I don't know. Ollie. 
She, uh, she noticed. Dear Arson and Ollie, we write stories to son? understand. What? We write stories to understand and be understood. But what good is a story without a first act? I'm sorry I kept mine from you for so long. All my love goblins. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Oh, there it is. There's the Baba. Is that... Leo Ronan? Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... Even if it's hard. And... There's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, let's go to the dock. It's time Eventually. To Come on, we could have done this in the first place. Let's go. Cool. So what about these other puzzles? The very old beaver's repair list. That's the ah. story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? The very old okay. beaver's repair list. So these are optional. What's this, the beaver's, um, wait there, where's the, how do I get back to the index again? Beaver's fix the house. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to actually read shit. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah, she fixed the broken window. Ah, okay, so we only need to know what they fix. Ah, bum 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 bum. Um, it shook the house, damaged the storm, blew shingles off the roof. Old bear. Stop, let me do that for you. I'll have you do it with the princess. But if you want help with the roof, you may. When the pair were done with the roof. Roof and walls. I can throw my body against this at the old bear. I'm very large. So the roof, the walls, the post. The post didn't get fixed. The roof, the walls. And beaver. It's so, I, I see, this is shit, isn't it? Just reading the fucking story to get the answer, I hate it. The very old beaver examined the big wooden house and nodded. There's so many words, like, they just need to cut the story down. So th that did get fixed. That winter, beaver broke. Uh, beaver set about fixing it. That was the old beaver. Oh god. So fucking window didn't even get Actually I'm was... not sure. Yeah, it was the post. She slapped the post with her tail to write it. The roof. Uh, she fixed the roof shingles. And the wall. That's all that got fixed. She fixed the planks that alright. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah. Oh. He um he doesn't really like to talk about her. Right, let's get the gossip. Dear Mary Ann, you cover your ears every time I try to have this conversation with you, so I thought I'd have a better chance of doing this in a letter. I know you don't like saying goodbye, so I'll keep my melancholic ramblings short and sweet. I want to thank you with all my heart for taking care of me for the past few months. I can't even imagine how exhausting it must have been for you to look after a sick old lady when you also have two small children at home. I know you want me to keep fighting this disease and hoping for recovery, but it's always been a great strength of mine to know that when it's time to let go and that time has come. I'd like to ask you for one last favour. Please take care of Eddie after I'm gone. My poor boy puts on a brave front ever since his father died, but I know he's in pain. I would be so much more at peace knowing that he still got, has family. Maybe he could teach the kids how to fish. He loves spending time with them. Thank you for the warmth and peace you brought to my life. Give the kids a kiss for me, will you, Carol? Okay, so that was from...
Um, that was his wife, wasn't it? Right. Let's get another one. What's this? The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? Old bear's gifts. Um, where's that? Can't even fucking see it. Goblin their voice big for Goblin's old beaver. Oh my god. What fucking story is it? The old bear's gifts for the princess. Is that the fucking story? The old bear's... No, it's not a story, mate. I'm just going to click through until they say something. Was it that one? Jesus Christ. I don't fucking care. I actually didn't even care. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that Princess and the two thieves. No, that, that, that's good. At least I know where to start. Where's that? Princess and the two Which thieves. Is... Right, so what happened? Oh, she lived a white princess, blah, 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 blah. She never spoke about all this shit. What does she steal? Can I have some stealing, please? She only took what she needed. Uh, the wise princess realized food was disappearing from her house. It was not much at first. Only a few fruits, nuts, and eggs. It's arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. And you probably remember maybe they took some of the princess's fruit yeah where's the fucking nuts some flour for the cake maybe no maybe not did they steal candy did they well it's good to know that it's not easy to see what the fuck you can steal jesus fruits so that's gonna be fruits right now um Okay, we'll see blah, 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 blah. Spoons and plates, forks and knives and blankets. Spoons and plates. Or not. What if they took some spoons? And some blankets. There's no blankets there, like. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Oh, there, yeah, I did it. I did That's it. it. <laughs> Good. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. You are the best mom in the world, the prettiest princess. Is that it? Is that it? I, I went through that hideous puzzle for that. That can fucking suck a dick, that one. The crafty goblin's good deeds. Crafty goblin's good deeds. No such thing. There's no such thing. Of course, the goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Am I am I fucking blind here? The crafty goblins' good deeds. There's no such thing. There's no such. There's no such. Uh, just, just kill me now. Just end my life. The old bear's gifts for the princess. 
I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? I've opened the book and checked and there's no such thing as the old bear's gifts for the princess. Not even fucking there. Now what's weird, I distinctly remember. The bear give... Not a bear. Where's the bear? This has got to be it, hasn't it? Right. Something feet. The children went to the glacier, blah blah blah. This is gonna be a bear. Old bear said his caves collapsed and it's hibernating. Wish last day. Right. Old bear. Right, so it's gotta be the next next one, hasn't it? This one. The bear's big paws. Oh my dears. Can we kind of just? I fucking hate the mother. She was such a dick. I've never seen this in my life. Some honey. Oh no! A newly bloomed bluebell. A handful of ripe berries. Huh. Fresh caught salmon. Some roses, maybe. Hazelnuts. Or not. Huh. Fresh caught salmon? Wait. Some roses, maybe? Bear's not gonna eat roses, maybe is it? Maybe not. Or not. Hazelnuts. Ah, that sounds good. Or not. Wait. Wait. Some honey, a newly bloomed bluebell, a handful of ripe berries, or not? Maybe not. Huh. Fresh caught salmon, some roses. Where's this? Uh, fucking, there's, I just, no such fucking story. Maybe. Fucking hate this fucking game. The crafty goblins good deeds. The crafty goblins good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well... To pay their debt off to the pelican. Pelican helps her friends. That's the best I can do. What did they do? You know, I don't really remember. They removed a thorn from the frog's back. They broke open the beehive for the bear. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Huh. They had Am to I fucking stupid or something? Wait there, just I'm just I'm just using the internet because this is getting beyond a joke. What's this even fucking called? The Crafty Goblin's Good Deeds. Where the fuck is it? It's not in the book. Alright.
Right, with old gears, gift of, you need to find the gifts mentioned in the story. A fresh caught salmon, ripe berries, and bloom. But what story? The fucking story's not there, man, you fucking prick! I fuck this fucking game, I swear down, it gets us so angry. Gifts for the princess. It's not even there. I'm totally I'm, am I fucking blind? Can somebody tell me if I'm fucking blind? Just write in the comments if I'm fucking blind, right? But the index, I can't see. The old bear's gift for the princess, it's not there. Like it's not there. Story. What did he give her again? So wait, wait. Open up the book and check. You need to find the gifts mentioned in the story. In what story? Is my game fucking broke? Right, wait there. Salmon, berries, and a bluebell. Maybe not. Wait. Or not. A newly bloomed bluebell? Maybe not. Salmon. Berries. Where's the berries? Hazelnuts. No. Maybe not. Berries? A handful of ripe berries? There we go, Rain. Right, that story yes. didn't exist. Man. Where the fuck it was? Bad. Just couldn't let go. Sorry for the note under the door, like a prison inmate. You okay? I stopped by and rang a couple of times this week, but you didn't answer. I could see the light in the hail off, so I figured you were in, but didn't want to talk. I hope I didn't ruin everything. I know I probably came on kind of strong, but the thing is, I don't know how to talk to a woman like you. You are strong and kind, you know, so much is hard for me to know how to keep up. I guess all that went to my head, but I want you to know I got the message and I and I'm going to get out of your hair now. It doesn't need to be any bad feelings. We can pass in the street and say hello if not okay. I noticed your car was leaking so I put some sealant in there. You might need to take it to the shop though. Let me know if you want me to come with you because sometimes these guys try to rip you off. If not, no big deal, Sam. So Sam, Sam's basically a fucking cook, right? Who just cut... He's so fixated on one woman, mate. You've got to know when to quit. He's a weak man. Which we know because he's got an alcohol problem. Right now, this one. Let's just find out the answer to this because it doesn't, it doesn't need, not even in the book of goblins. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, Moose I bear don't princess. really remember. Moose bear princess. Or not? Moose. They gave the stalwart bear. moose a good scratch on the back. Maybe not. There we go. So lads, if anyone knows where the fucking story for these is, someone tell us because they're not in the Book of Goblins. It's not here. None of those those two stories are not here. It's a joke. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. The Pelton Crossing is a spe specialty gift boutique located near the Oshier Glacier, catering at Gaston Channel tourists as well as Delos Crossing locals. We specialise in, in we specialise in an assortment of high quality products from home accessories. Oh, so this is Tessa's Tessa shop. Okay, I'm not going to read the rest because we figure out what it is. Pelton Cross and plants a break even in year or two. We plan to generate a moderate profit working on the executive summary part of our business plan. What do you think, Tessa? Okay, can we fucking go now? Done that. Done that. Done that. Done that. That's everything, done it? Right, let's go. We could have we could have happily moved on without learning any of that you shit. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I think so. I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. I found that. That's open, that's open. That's open. That's open. Can't do anything with that because I haven't got the collectibles. Did I even read this before? Oh yeah, I did. What's the next thing? I must have missed that. Is that all that's in there? Oh, I'll see a this. Baby blanket. A baby blanket. That's it. I wish you just explained all this to us. Right, come on, we're going. There's no else in here, is there? You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Yeah, I'm sick of my mother. Shit, let's go. Either way. I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. Fucking May 3. <laughs> May 3, mate, honestly. Honestly, mate.
I mean, this is probably the best reward the game's ever going to give us. The view from here is just unreal. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Let's well, wait on... and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Yeah, so, ba so basically, so, so what we've learned is, at the end of episode two, the game could have been over, but they stretched out for a third episode because they're fucking money grabbing cunts. Right, where what's happening here? Well, remember then. I knew it, did I not tell you? I knew it was I fucking knew it was Tessa's boyfriend. Tom, Tom yep, Vecchi's Tom. Her father? Of course. <laughs> it had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. I called it ages ago. Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom, it's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. I, Tom's a proper creeper. I guess I, I just I had like a sense that a uh, he's a bit of a bit of a rapist. He's got that rapist aura. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. But this guy tries to kill us. Answers. I think we should stab him. Listen. You're our father. What a weak ass man. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. And you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. How did this guy get any woman's funny wet? He's horrible. Yeah, you tried to burn down the barn, you little cunt. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. Right. What can we see? About the barn. Hey. You hearing me? Yep. Sorry. I'm trying really hard to keep myself from punching him in the face. Punch him in the face. I'm the least bit sorry for what he did. He could have seriously hurt you. Yeah. He's just a fucking coward. You were here that night. 
You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. Does he really expect us to believe there wasn't anything else he could have done that night? I don't know, Ellie. I'd rather not think about it. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You have to make it right. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. What? Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. You drove her to it, yeah. You preyed on her, you little fucking welt. That was convenient for you, huh? You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was... a very nerdy woman. Hmm. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. But it will. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Oh Am shit, yeah. Jesus, Tom. He's so selfish. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Mary really died. How did she really die? Oh, this is getting juicy now. Oh my god. I came out here because I was worried about your mother. He's a proper creeper, this guy, though, isn't he?
Yeah, he deserves everything. He sh what he could have run and helped there. He's such a see. He's a melt of a man. This guy has not a single piece of testosterone in his whole body. I never understand how men like that get any sort of funny wet. No. No way. You're a fucking liar. I saw what I saw. Ugh. You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her. Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? Hmm. Look at him, he is a little manipulator. More here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? Already told him, mate. <laughs> and Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Oh, I cut this prick. Touch her. Nice! Well done, mate. Well done. You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Kill him. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Mate, I'm gonna light you Leave up like a Christmas fuck tree. Alone and never come back. Hey, nice one, Tyler. Pro chin them. Well done. Well done. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I wanna I wanna The truth hurts, but it's the best thing ever. Allie, you okay? You didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? He's not right. I've been having all of these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember. That's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. Yeah, but it doesn't actually change anything because he didn't... She didn't know that she wasn't going to kill her. Do you know what I mean? Like, she was still trying to protect her brother because she wouldn't have heard what was going on. But even if that's true, it makes no difference. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. I don't think she did. 
She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? Yeah, mother didn't point the gun at him. I know she didn't. She's not that type of woman. She was mental, but she wouldn't hurt her kids. I believe Tom's version. Mary Ann did not threaten Tyler. That's correct. I'm yeah, it still still still. Tom's a massive welt and a wet blanket, but Mary Ann did not threaten Tyler. It was just that um, I thought she was because I was behind all this, saw her with a gun, and saw Tyler at the end of the pier. That's what happened. Mary Ann did not threaten Tyler. That's what I thought, originally. Just herself. You interrupted her and... We... We got confused. Are you sure? Yes. That attic... Tyler... That was meant for us. It was her way of... Of explaining what she was going through. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? Would have aged well, or just gone bad? Oh, come on. What, what should we be in a misery for? Mate, you killed your mom, you knew you did. Now it's changed. Nothing's changed, and you were a kid. Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. Stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions. 
Like, our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But... I really want to keep what makes us... us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag, but she did not kill him, because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted the day think? he would emerge, brothers and sisters, to once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the Mad Hunter. Is that it? Really? Are you kidding me? Is this, if this is the credits... Oh, it's not. Okay. Six months later. Oh, look, the Tyler has shaved his head. <sighs> One last look. I'm good to go. Oh, I'm controlling this, Emma. Okay, then. Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> House is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty, you're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep, gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, that's it, then. How are you? How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. What about Tom? Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. <laughs> did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> I 
No, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Excellent. Was a bitch. Juno. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there. Okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. And that's everything. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. This area is stunning without the snow, isn't it? All the colours are just pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Time to move on. Oh, it's a shame we couldn't trigger anything there. I was thinking that we might be able to. I think the only things that we can interact with are within this, within the house. There was nothing there in the barn. Come on then. Now I'm wondering, is there going to be a... A tell me why number two? Is some fucked up shit going to happen in this house here? I should have probably run these by his place. Or just drop them off at Bernie's. It's too bad Tessa closed her cafe. That other place just doesn't quite hit the spot. What's this? Sucks to suck. Thomas Anthony Fecky. Ha. <laughs> he lost. That's Tom lost the thing. Oh shit. So wait there. Let me read that again. Sucks to suck. Thomas Anthony Fecky. Um. Declared victory in her bid. Her rival local business owner Vecchi sparked much debate in the community over his gun control policies, but Score's success has been attributed to her willingness to reach across the par party lines. According to sources close to the city council, Score invited Vecchi to join her mayoral, mayoral cabinet, but Vecchi refused. Vecchi declined to comment on the election result, except to say that his plans to focus on his family and other business pursuits come some in the sub. Blah, blah, blah. Some in the community were baffled by his comments given the recent stuttering of Vecchi's business. A highly popular Tessa's, ca Tessa's Cafe managed by his wife in a separate statement she announced she was ending her thriving business to focus on personal and spiritual matters. Okay, so it, it, we, it never got out that he was a cheating little bastard. Huh. Well, at least she finally dumped his ass. Oh, okay, so this is from Tessa. Dearest Tyler and Allison, I'm writing this letter from Juno International Airport where I will soon board a plane to Manila. Also, oh, that's where she fro was from, maybe. On a missionary assignment. I apologise for not coming in person to say goodbye, but I, I called to make the decision alone and to carry it out on my own as well. I'm sure you will understand that sometimes. We must follow without question the prompting of the spirit. I will not be coming back to Delos Crossing for some time. Before I go, there's still something I feel I must confess to you both. Perhaps because I have never found the strength to confront my husband, I have never been able to forgive Mary Ann for her betrayal. I truly did love you both like my own children and I always tried to forgive your mother for her unapologetic lifestyle. But when I discovered that you were the fruit of, of her affair with my Thomas, I wanted her to suffer like I was suffering. I don't blame her to be honest. And I brought down on your house with the wrath, wrath I never dared allow to unfold in mine. I've been deeply ashamed all these years and I'm surprised how much better I feel with it in the open. The greatest thing about truth is the peace it brings to your life. I hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. You've taught me once again how love will bring you further in life. Something that Mary Ann had been trying to show me all along. Take care of each other always in her steps, Tessa. See, I didn't think Tessa was a bad woman. I think she did everything else, that, everything she could to help us. And I don't blame her for, for being angry at Mary Ann because our mother was a bit of a fucking cunt to be honest, wasn't she? In, in all in all fairness, our mother was a bit of an arsehole.
I can't use my pop. Oh, I can. I've still got the power. I got the power. <laughs> I'll take them, why not? Some good memories. University jo oh, so it's a university application. Man. I seeing it empty is so weird. But it is strange. The last time we'll ever have to. That's pretty cool, it's one of them holograms. You don't see them so often now, but they were quite popular in, in the 80s and 90s. Shifting holograms. A lot of um, computer game limited edition boxes had those on as well. Michael. Must be a relief to finally be done with that place, Tyler, no doubt. If traffic's not too bad, I should be back at our place around 4pm. Ah, traffic in Delos. Only if the mailbox bandit escaped. Hey, I'm making that biscuit thing you like. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'll probably take care of some fire hydrants and stop signs. Don't die. I'll keep it warm. See you in a few, Tyler. Is that it? Go outside. We're going to be able to enjoy the view. This was right at the start of the game when we were here. <sighs> Gonna miss this. Yeah, I, I would miss that. Memory lane, Mr. Ronan? Hey, I'm having a private moment with me, myself, and I here. <laughs> okay, carry on. Ah, that's another thing. I know how she just invaded his privacy there. Imagine if he was knocking one out in the bedroom and his sister just started talking to him. That would put you right out the mood, wouldn't it? Right, let's have a look in the kitchen and then upstairs. See if there's anything we can actually see. I want something really sinister to happen, but I just don't think it is going to. Most wanted escapes. The fuzzy bandit escapes. That's hilarious. The raccoon's going wild again. There's a room here. Nothing. Aha. Oh, I thought something was glowing there, but it wasn't. It was just the stars on the wall. It is weird seeing like a... Like any house that's once been furnished, seeing it empty is weird. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fix-It. Nah, it's a bit fucked, like. A bit fucked? Goodbye, broom. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, man on the moon? For posterity. I think that's it. Good to go, homies. Come on then. Let's leave this wretched place. <laughs> Two goblins. Surprised we can't take a picture of the sitting room. Oh no, what? Oh, we cut. We. That's it. Right, let's go. Seems to be lots of animals calling, they're probably going to be mating or coming in here to kill me. I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. What? 
Should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. What stuff? Oh, this. I should have probably run these by his place. Or just drop them off at Bernie's. Aw, a dreamy sigh. <gasps> Look! The Og together! That's hilarious. Michael and Tyler getting it on. So what am I supposed to be doing? Oh my god, have they really put some fucking cryptic ass shit in the fucking epilogue? Just get in the car and go. What shit am I supposed to grab? There's no even in that. Oh my god. What? Just shut the door, mate. Honestly, whoever designed this game is a piece of shit. Like, what do I need? I've, I've clicked on everything possible. Bro. Bro, really? I've seen that. I've been on that. There's a set here. Am I supposed to take that with us? I've been outside. I've looked at their magazines. It's fuck all here, man. Jesus Christ, this fucking game. <sighs> uh, what, what am I supposed to do? Come on. Really? Bro. This game's so shit, it. It's just... I would rather watch this as a actually no, I wouldn't watch watch it as a movie because it'd be a shit movie. What's in here? Can we just go? Oh, have I, have I missed this? Have I? What? Oh, I must have missed this. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to send this to, so I hope I'll reach you. Heard from Laura that you finally sold the house. I'm guessing you'll both be on your way soon. I'm staying in a little cabin on the Tanaki River that the owner's letting me stay in if I help fix his boat. It's been nice to start over, but my sponsor of at AA says it's important, so he did get his, Sam did get his life turned around. Um, I don't completely... says that it's important I don't completely erase the past. Something about being a part of my history. You two have been an important part of everything and I hope you won't mind me writing this letter even though words and me sometimes get twisted up. You both have your busy lives and it'd be really great if we could meet sometime. Step 9 of recovery is about making amends. So I hope that with everything that happened to you guys might let old Sam apologise for the hurt I did. I could drive to Juno or you could even come visit Tanaki. Got a nice pull out but you'll have to fight over the blanket. Just kidding. There's two. One of them's kind of smelly though. Haha. <laughs> Got you again. Please take care of yourself, Sam. Got adopted by a stream mutt that hung around the docks. I named her Skipper. Right, is that it? Let's go. I should grab the rest of my stuff before I head out. Oh my god, mate. The rest of your fucking stuff. What What am I grabbing? What am I grabbing? Lads, fucking this game. I swear down. It's just such a fucking piece of shit. Can we just get onto the credits? There's nothing left in this piece of shit of the house. How can the game be so bad? What my is the game giving me any direction on what to do? Gather your stuff and Lock the house. Well, where's me fucking stuff, you fucking cunt? Where's me stuff? What stuff am I gathering? There's nothing else I can pick up. Jesus Christ. This is fucking dog shit. I hate this game. Episode 3. Now it is. Episode 1 and 2 we're good. Episode 3. Just garbage. Straight up dog shit. Am I supposed to be able to pick this shit up? Or have I not looked at this? Leave. Can't pick it up. Pick up the laptop. I bet you it's pick up the laptop. That's the only thing I'm missing. How do I pick this up? I've examined it. Pick it up. Oh my god, there's something here. 
Oh my god, there's something there which you only notice when you click on the laptop. It's not a separate thing. Right, let's go. Let's go. Peace out. Gone. Come on. I'm tired of this shit. What a waste of time. Well, this is goodbye for real, I guess. Fingers crossed. Hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan. I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say well, you were right about grief. About it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog. And my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember. Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you. That's it, is it? Yeah, it is. That was it. Okay, let's continue. So what do we do? Tyler and Alison. Alison was grateful they completed Marianne's puzzle. Alison was influenced by Tom's testimony. The twins trusted... I wasn't influenced by Tom's testimony. That's what I thought happened all along, so that's a lie. Twins trusted their bond and kept their voice good. Eddie was relieved that Alison accepted responsibility in the murder. Excellent. Sam lost his temper on Alison, which is fair enough. Michael fell closer to Tyler. Yeah. Yeah, he did. And that was all of our decisions. If you or anyone you know are struggling with suicidal thoughts or experience an emotional crisis, you can find help using these resources. You matter and we need you in the world. Well, tell you what, it's a good job they put that, that telephone number there because I felt suicidal playing some of this fucking game because, honestly, it was fucking dog shit. It, now, it is, if, the, the funny thing is, if you know you've made a bad game, you need to put the suicide hotline on it because people are going to need it trying to get through it. And I didn't get it wrong. Like, I, I like the story. I like the characters. I like the characters. I liked how mysterious it was in episode one and two. But the game was finished after episode two. All you had to do was walk down the docks and, and find out that. But then episode three just took us on a, a travel around the world and nothing actually happened in episode three. It actually, it actually tarnished the whole game for me. And that's another thing I want to come on to with the gameplay of this game. The gameplay in this is 100% dog shit. On story based choice based story based choice based games like the Telltale games and stuff. Choices need to matter. In this there must have been a grand total of 3 or 4 choices. We didn't get any. Do you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe there was 5 choices. I would like them to be more frequent. But there weren't. And the choices didn't even, it only, I imagine there's only going to be two end, endings. One where you are happy brother, brother and sister together, and a one where you aren't. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's the way it looks like. It's set up to be. And I was loving it when I thought it was going to be a supernatural element, but it just turned out to be Tom, Shagamima, and... 
we didn't even get any revenge on that so it, it's not even the game is so melancholy and i hope we don't see a tell me why number two because it was shit yeah unfortunately i was having fun was i having fun i don't even know if i was really having fun it was more like a movie just enjoying to get to know the characters and then episode three was just a whole load of nothing okay lads well i hope you enjoyed the playthrough of tell me why um i wouldn't recommend you play it it's pretty bad and i shall see you in the next one